something is wrong. My head is spinning. Who is this creature? Hello, I woke up Darling. in the basement. <clears throat> Everyone gaze upon me. Why does that man not have a tiny doll? Why does that man have a tiny doll? You actually don't look half bad when you're not covered in oh, graveyard dirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look far better than you. May I ask who was the young man you talked with earlier? Who, Petya? Why, are you interested? Petya is human. I picked him up at the town market. So he wasn't the ginger man with the doll. Ah, oh, the man with the weird doll. Hi. I do actually have a model right that here. That was Petya! <laughs> I, I do actually have a model right that here. That was Petya! I always carry Matilda with me, just in case a good opportunity strikes. You never know. What do you look do with it? Eyes. What do you do with Doesn't it? Doesn't she look alive to you? Like she's going to blink? <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Well, um, apologies. Petya. Petya. We should probably go discuss some urgent business with the Countess. Oh, of course. Uh, in fact, I'd, I'd love to meet her as. Yeah, I don't blame him for that <sighs> at all. I don't know how, but I can sense he is not one of us. Is it the creepy doll? Such a strange feeling. Attraction? No, but something very similar. Oh, she wants to eat him. He's most certainly human. Maybe we should. He has a creepy doll and I'm not here for it. Can we talk to him? Yeah. Oh, hello. It's you, Lady in the Nightgown. Oh, thank you. Yes, that is my given name. How are you feeling? I was really worried. Oh, he's quite, he's quite nice, actually. Much better. Thank you. I'm Lisa, by the way. I haven't decided yet, Petya, if I'm going to eat you or not. I'm probably going to base it on this conversation, so no pressure, but do well. Of course. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Petya. It's a pleasure. You were the only one who seemed to care about my... my illness. Oh, nonsense. They are a lovely bunch around here, just all very busy. The third group I'm pitching my dolls to, and everyone keeps running Aww. off for urgent business. It's because they're real creepy, Petya. Did you say you're selling dolls? And making them, yes. I see you have one with you. May I take a look? Ooh. Of course. Matilda here is my favorite. I'd love to get some honest feedback. Why is he making well, dolls? What do you think? Ooh. She's beautiful. Oh, it's just lovely. So detailed. She has human. the same color eyes as She Petty. reminds me of the one I had when I was a little girl. That's exactly what I wanted to accomplish. Thank you. Well, why is he not marketing these dolls at like toy shops? Instead of just random evening dinner parties. I knew someone here would appreciate it. You target audience, friend. Target audience. I'm hoping to show her to the Countess. With her approval, the sky's the limit. You know, making toys is what I wanted to do since I was a little boy. My father always called this foolishness, mm. among other I things. I wanted to play the fiddle. That it's not manly work. I never managed to convince him otherwise. I'm sorry. That must have been tough well here i am still at it i do have a feeling that i'm on to something with matilda just you wait my gut tells me that tonight is going to bring something special and it's never wrong oh we gonna eat him how did you end up being invited here if you don't mind me asking Oh, that's all thanks to Elisa, the lovely young woman in the yellow yeah, dress. Yeah, I'm starting to dislike her now. She saw me at the town market and saw some real potential in my work. I bet she did. She said that the people in the manor might be interested in seeing it, and you didn't have to ask me twice. I see. How is pitching going so far? I'll admit, it's a little slow, but the night is still young. They're not interested in your doll, you Petya. You're an optimistic guy, aren't you, Petya? My mother used to say that my hope will be the oh, death of me. Oh no! This was real life, I'd be stood there like... <laughs> but what's the point of living if you don't believe in people and yourself? Uh, you may be right about that. Oh no, let's walk At away. Walk away now. Remember. This is awkward, I'm uncomfortable. Let's Best leave. Best of luck with everything, Yeah, Petya. good luck, Petya. Hope everything Ooh. works out with the Countess. Hope you make it through the night. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, do we have to? The man's an arse. Is that the same cigarette or is that a div you've just been chain smoking? Good timing. I just finished up. Mmm, good. Yes, how lucky. Don't be snappy, Lisa. Smoking is an important routine for a soldier. Can't be interrupted. Oh, just move on. I don't care. So, are I don't there any care other about you. you have left for me? <laughs> what is going on in the basement of the manor? It's absolutely terrifying down there. Oh yes, the basement. If I were you, I would just forget all about it. Oh, thank it. you, Hisai. So helpful. Me. All I know is that Countess conducts her business, and she doesn't enjoy people meddling in it. If it's so confidential, how come I ended up there in the first place? Minor oversight. You were supposed to be moved upstairs before you were up, but appears that you are an early riser. Mm -hmm. And whose oversight was it, may I ask? Let's not focus on casting blame, shall we? Ooh. I say all's well that ends well. Was it your fault, Hussar? So, I bet it was. Are there any other questions you have left for me? I hope she doesn't throw you into the sun. Who ended up letting me out of the chamber? If I'm honest, I have the foggiest idea. I thought you knew. Well, I don't. And whoever it was gives me the goosebumps. He does have lovely eyes, and he doesn't deserve them. On top of everything, I ended up promising them a favor, and felt a bad burn on my shoulder right after that. Do you know what it could possibly be? Let me take a look. Ah, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, brother. What? What is it? Um, it could be nothing, really. No need to worry. Just make sure that you show this to the doctor when you see him, mm -hmm. all right? All right. Thank you for your help, Hussar. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? I don't know. I don't know if there's any point. vampires are real, does this mean other fairy tales are? You'll have to be more specific than that. Rusalkas? Dumaboys? Ghosts? Yes. No. Yes. We'll spend all night here if we keep talking about flora and fauna. What is wrong with this man? If you want my advice, focus on yourself first. That always ends up working for Does me. it, though? Does it? Because you seem like a bit of an arsehole. So, are there any other questions you no, have No, I would like me? to leave. Go away. I suppose that's it for the time. Perfect. Moment. If you don't mind me asking, what do you make of all this? I take it you've done a couple laps around the ballroom. Learned a little more about what it's like to be one it of them. It seems us. very tedious and everybody just seems like the worst. Well, I'm obviously still in shock, but... Yes? From a scientific perspective, I have to admit I'm curious. This is certainly a unique condition we are in. I'd love to learn more about it for my studies. I'm impressed. I can certainly see now why the doctor chose you as his apprentice. All right. Have you read Thunderstorm? Ah. Uh, I'm not so sure. Why? Well, unlike Katerina in the play, you no longer need to wonder why people can't fly. How? How did you do that? I prefer you this way. By sheer will, Lisa. It's very simple. Ugh. <sighs> Thought you wouldn't be able to talk if he was a bat. Damn it. How were you even talking with me in such a state? That's yet another benefit of being one of us. We can project our thoughts into people's mm, minds. I'm a czar and I can project my thoughts into your mind. I prefer it, really. I find normal speech kind of primitive. Why don't you do it all the time, then? I'd love to, but you don't want to get too used to it and scare a human by accident. No, why don't you try it? Let's see what kind of bat you are. I bet my bat's way better than your bat. <laughs> yeah. My bat is way better than your bat. Is uh -huh. this a who? <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh, oh, oh. Seems like you're catching on. Follow me. Go. I can't believe I'm actually flying. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm oh, looking so much faster than death. you. 
Don't you feel more alive than you ever have right now? Do I have to? Okay. Shh. There. Look. If only I have three coins for my name, then I'd show him. Then I'd They'd show They'd all see. They'd all see. Who is, is that man? What you wanted to show me? A drunk peasant. I'm not eating him. What I wanted to show you is how to use your I don't new want powers. to eat him. Meet Trophine. He is the Countess's former serf, now custodian and coachman. Among other things, he makes sure no one goes in or out of here without her permission. Important man. Now, come with me. How is life, Trophim? My lord, is that you? Or oh, the bottle you gave me? Highest quality. Much obliged. Oh, don't eat that. him. Don't it's eat him. Already. What did he do <laughs> to deserve being eaten? All right, enough pleasantries. Watch this. What happened to him? Is he all right? He is fine. We call this enchantment. Enchantment? What does enchantment do, exactly? It makes people tranquil. While they are in trance, they don't feel pain or have a clear memory of what happened. Ugh. So they don't remember Wait, can anything I, once they're enchanted? Can I do my experience points? Remind me to do my experience points and not we'll quite. forget. They may not remember what happened, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Sounds like a subject for some awkward conversations. You don't know the half of it yet. You'll see. So, how do I enchant someone? I don't know if I can whistle like you. Don't worry. Whistling is just for me. It's like a cure for the hiccups. Everybody has their own way. When you need it, it will come to you. Whistling is only for me, because I am a special boy who can whistle. You can't whistle. Whistling's just for the sar. Does this mean you can just come up to anybody and make them tranquil? In theory, but it's not quite that simple. Firstly, they have to like you. An important condition. Without it, the charm won't I'm work. I'm surprised anybody likes you. Secondly, you should only do it to humans. So it doesn't work on other vampires. I didn't say that. Hmm? Well, it's not going to work on me. It's not. The best because I don't like you. Enchant their own kind. But I don't even know if the Countess has that kind of power. Besides, this would certainly not be considered ethical by our vampire brothers and sisters. I bet they wouldn't mind to have that power, though. Oh, without a doubt. Okay. So why would you want to enchant someone? I thought you might ask that. There are two main reasons. One, people in a trance are easily suggestible. You can use that to influence their thoughts and opinions. That sounds unethical. That doesn't sound right. Well, I didn't say you have to do it, did I? Did I? Everyone lives with their own choices. <laughs> when you say influence their thoughts, does this mean they will do anything, I say? Anything? Only within reason, of course, especially when you are a beginner. Impression is a delicate art and takes a lot of practice. And what is the second reason? I think you already know. Oh, no! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Oh. oh. What have you done? Oh, he seems fine. I just opened him up for you. Don't worry, he'll be just fine unless we bleed him dry. Oh, okay, well, Come fine. Here. It's time for you to learn how to feed. I... I don't know if I'm ready. His eyes look like those little marbles. What were they called? You play with in primary school. Red devils, something like that. You're as ready as you'll ever- How do I turn? Just relax and let your instincts take over. It will come naturally.
Okay, but first, can I... Okay, so... See, I don't think, like, six is going to be really relevant, so... I'm going to do science and logic. Um, I am turning into a vampire now. Look at me go. I'm a vampire. My mouth, it's, it's bleeding. Of course, I forgot to warn you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's normal. That happens when your fangs are out for the first time. It will recover in a minute. <laughs> that man should not be a doctor. He has terrible bedside manner. His skin smells like wild berries. But not just the smell. The promise of warmth that draws you. Uh, okay, I'm sold. Eat him. The Eat him now. The promise of being whole. Eat him. Change my mind. I want to feel it on my teeth. In my body. No. Okay. I can't do this. Well, she's the better woman than I. I mean, you will die, though, right? I... I don't think I can do it. I'm sorry. All right. But if the Countess asks, promise you'll say that you've done it. I don't want to get in trouble because you chickened out. I promise. Do I? Remember, you have to learn to do it to survive. I better get back to my other errands. Don't want to get my tunic. Ah, I'm pretty sure it's already wet. Do you remember the way back? Probably not. Hussar? Can I do that? Or is that saying that's what? Thank you oh. for your help. I that feels so a rough day and dirty. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Don't mention it. I ended up having a decent time myself. But you're such a ball bag. Is this going to be like a Mr. Darcy situation where he comes in all dickish and she's like, Oh, amazing. The worse you treat me, the more I like you. I'll see you soon. Mission failed. I should get back to the manor and talk with the Countess. I'll process this all later. Okay. Where will I live? What's next? There's so much I have to sort out first. It'll be fine. We've got but vampire first, friend. Hussar said I can influence someone who is enchanted. I should try it on Trophy. No, no, no. We should try it on Petia and tell him to go home. But, but why would he... He doesn't like us. How do I? How do I? Can you hear me, Trophy? Oh, okay. Here is something I'd like you to do. Drink less. You will start pacing your drinking. Ah, oh, so we can literally just, like, be a counsellor for everyone. But, like, they will do what we say. Return to the manor. It's too dark. I can't quite make out what's in okay. Fair enough. I do enjoy the flying. I didn't know I was going to get to fly. This is so exciting. Ah! Robin! What was that? Was that him? No. What was that? If they've eaten Petia, I'm going to be so mad. Wait, was this Looks where I... Looks like banquet is over. Someone is... <laughs> I don't understand. <gasps> How could this even happen? You have no self-control at all. Which one of you's... Ate my friend, the doll man. Oh, it's Petya's doll, Matilda. This is so unsettling. Which one of yous was it? Which one of yous? Was it you? Or was it you? There's two of you. What is this? My God. I 
I am so disappointed. Petia was my favourite one. Ah, oh, the man with the weird doll. Don't like any of these people. None of you get to have music anymore. You think about what you've done. I can't talk to them then, can I? What? What the hell happened here? What the hell? Yeah, what happened? What the hell happened here? It's all Victoria's fault. Well, no, because you as well. I told her he's almost empty, but she wouldn't listen. What do you want from me? I was starving. And you two barely left me anything. Oh, I think we should kill these two. Kill them. Doesn't matter now. Push them off a high we roof. trained a man. Not anywhere, but at the Countess's manor. Someone is going to fry for this and as sure as hell won't be Oh, me. it's going to be both of you. Are you mad? No one is going to be executed for this. He's just a human. You monsters. You monsters. How could you do this? And who are you exactly? And who are you exactly? That's right. Hasn't been a vampire for five minutes and thinks she knows everything. Oh, yeah, but I've been a person for a lot of years. So I do know everything. <laughs> Come with me, my dear. This is not your mess to sort out. Thank you. Can you kill them? Kill them all, all three of them. And that British man. Those morons. I knew I couldn't leave them alone with him. Oh, so why did you then? Is this your fault as well? Why have you got a key? An earring that's a key. I just can't seem to make sense of it. I talked with Petya not even an hour ago. I'm so sorry. He didn't need to die today. What happens now? Well, the Countess won't like this one bit. I can tell you that much. Is she sympathetic to humans? Um, I wouldn't say that. Uh, no. However, she doesn't like murders being linked up to her property. She will find her way out of this, no doubt. But those three in the ballroom, we'll have to see. Let's push them into the sun. Back in the room, they said someone will be fried. What does that mean? I don't know if you've heard this yet, but we can't be in the sun. It destroys us. I did read about that in the folk tales. The stories are true. Sometimes it's used as a form of capital punishment for our kind. What do you think will happen to those three outside? Murdering a human, sadly, isn't a big crime in our community. I don't think it will come to that. It should. If I had my guess, I'd say they will get their fangs dulled for troubling the Countess. They will grow back after a month or two, but before then, they will have to feed solely on Cabernet. And it isn't cheap. What if they can't afford it? They will just have to find a way. Some take loans. Some steal. Without blood, we are like humans without water. That's a really interesting way to punish a vampire that I've never seen before. I like it. Arbin? Yes? Do you know what will happen to me now? I don't even know who I am anymore. What do I do? Where do I live? I understand it's not an easy day. We all went through this at some point. All the answers will come at the right time. For now, you just need to wait it out till someone sends for you. I must admit, I feel quite restless. Wait it out where? Listen, not many of us might say this to you, so I want to do it. Being one of us doesn't just mean hurting people for your own benefit. It doesn't have to be. To me, it means that I have an eternity to become better, learn from my mistakes, absorb the knowledge about the world. I suppose that's one way to look at it. I think I might just become you know, a vampire hunter. The Countess hunter. has a wonderful library over here. Why don't you grab a book and use this time to learn something new? Perfection comes in little steps. It means Thank a lot. Thank you for all your help and kindness, Arbin. It feels really good to have a friend around here. Yeah, I like Arbin. She's nice. I know it can't be easy for you right now in all this madness. It's hard to adjust. I learned that the hard way. Trust me. Here, I want you to have this. Yay! Small vial with blood sustains you for a day. This should give you a little boost when you need it. Clear your head. 
It's not going to last long, but it will give you a little peace of mind for the time being. I should go now, my dear. You know where to find me. Next time, a drink at my bar is on me. Ooh. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm assuming that that glass of Cabernet in the top left is going to deplete, right? You can read books to pass time and increase knowledge stats. Heck yeah. Let's do... Oh, I've read, I've read The Seagull. I had to do it for my drama degree and I hated it. Let's do The Prince. Good job. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to do... I should see what all this ruckus is about. Yeah, we should. Go be nosy. <gasps> this is fresh. What in the world caused this? This is fresh. What in the world caused this? I hope your friends are dead. My God, what happened here? Idiots being punished for their own stupidity. Their own stupidity. Did you kill them? <laughs> I took that snake's fangs out. We'll see how she does now. I wasn't sure what to do when I saw him. But then I thought about something you said earlier. That his life was more valuable than ours? Really? What was it? That mortal life has the same value as eternal existence. You are welcome. I don't know if it's true, but it certainly helped me find my rage. You are welcome. Still, this isn't going to bring him back. Uh, it's irrelevant. Revenge is the best. We like revenge. Sorry I'm about I'm so sorry about Petya. He seemed like such a nice boy. Why did she bring him here? I thought she'd brought him here to be eaten. It was always a risk. Life goes on. Whatever it is we have. Aww. But thank you. You must be curious about what happens to you now. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. The way it works is that you get assigned to the one who turned you for the apprenticeship. I believe you are the doctor's disciple. I don't really remember much before I woke up. The doctor. He was a traveling doctor that came to the city, wasn't he? He was a vampire? He certainly was. It will all come back eventually. Don't worry about it now. Oh, okay. So we returned by the doctor. Countess a coachman, Trophim. He will take you to the doctor's place in town. He is rough around the edges, but... You can learn a lot from him. May I speak with the Countess herself? <laughs> <laughs> you need to be a little more important for that to happen. Oh dear. Trust me. She'll send for you soon. Just as I was Jesus warming up to you. All, you will be no exception. I understand. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Ugh, don't good girl me. You should go. Trophim will be waiting for you. And the sun is not getting any lower. No, yep. You're right, it's twilight. I've unlocked the door by the balcony. It'll lead you to the stairs and outside. Okay. The door. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This door. Hey, Lisa. No. Yes. Can I have the doll? The creepy doll? Never mind. What is it? You've only turned recently. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you watched the sunrise? It must have been a couple weeks ago. I was studying late for my exams. What did it feel like? Well, I was worried about the day to come, and when a ray of sun fell on my face, I don't know. I felt warm. Hopeful. Oh, she's going to be so sad. We should have been like, oh, it was terrible. The worst, the worst time ever. No one likes the sun. Why do you ask? No reason. It's just been a while since I've seen one. Fair enough. You will hear from the Countess soon. I'm sure I will. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you. 
Could you please take yeah. this ugly doll with you? I can't keep looking into its dead eyes. Does it remind you of Petya? Just take yep. it with yep. you. I'm taking please. it. I want the doll. Give me the doll. All right. I would like the doll. I Thank will. you. It was Thanks. really creepy when he was holding it, but uh, now it's on its own. I'm like, oh, around. I kind of want it. I swear it just blinked. Oh. Favorite creation of deceased Petya. We'll take that all. <laughs> and that was Cabernet. That was really good fun. I enjoyed that. It didn't feel like I'd been playing it for that long, to be honest. It kind of zoomed by. Oh, that was really good fun. I don't know what I was expecting, really, with that game, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think the artwork was really pretty. I really liked the music. And I liked where it was going. I think once it opens up, it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, if that seems like something you'd enjoy, go and wishlist it now on Steam. What are you doing? Why are you still here? Go and wishlist it now, right now. And um, that's it. 